How do you bank? Well, it may depend on your age. Recent studies show the millennial generation is choosing different ways to bank than their parents did. A Business Insider survey found that 38% of millennials say they don't use a brick and mortar branch for their banking needs except to use an ATM. More than one in four say they visit a bank branch less than once a month. Here to tell us what this means for the future of banks and banking is Lauren Lyons-Cole. She's the personal finance editor for the International Business Times. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. What's going on exactly? So it's interesting because traditionally, you know, if we needed a loan or if we needed any sort of financial product, we would walk into a bank. But millennials are really approaching this sort of need differently. They don't, they don't think about that. Instead, they think, what app can I download yeah. so that I can address this financial need? And it's a really big shift that's starting to happen. Well, you know, you do see that. Everyone's on their phone these days. But do you really feel like it's at a tipping point? Like, are that many people using these apps? Right. So I think we are getting to that tipping point. Mobile payments, mobile banking, these things have become so much more common than actually using regular banking services. And this is going to impact the banks in a very big way. Well, it's because I was looking at the number. Nine out of ten millennials say they have a smartphone, and 72% of them say that they use it to perform banking activities. Right. So, and there is a security concern still, right? A lot of people have resisted going in this direction because who knows if your phone is really that right. safe. But more and more, like for Black Friday, we saw so many people shopping on their phone. It continues to grow, and that's going to only um, gain momentum over time. Is there sort of an unintended benefit for the brick and mortars, though? Because I would imagine you're paying a lot less. You don't have the employees. You don't have the overhead if everyone goes to online. It's a really interesting situation. A lot of the bank revenues have been driven through relationships, actually, right? So you go into yeah. a bank, and you need something, and you might walk out with something else. And a lot of times, there's sales commissions going on. There's a lot of things that happen from the personal relationship that you have. So actually, moving in the direction of apps and mobile banking, in my opinion, is better for consumers because you're making decisions based yeah. on data. It's not so much this personal relationship um, that we've seen in the past. Well, it's interesting because banks in so many, for a long time have felt that they needed to have branches to sort of fly the flag, in effect, and to attract customers. But there's right. a new customer base now that doesn't seem to want that. Right, exactly, because they're going to the app store and they're downloading something new and they're, right. they're less loyal than people have been but in the past. But even the ATM seems to be in danger. Right. Cash is, you know, it's one of these things we still need it, so we do have to go to the ATM, but it's not something that we expect to see forever. I mean, 20 years from now, who knows? Mobile payments are huge. So many people just transferring money on their phones. It's a lot easier. And so many people using words like Venmo as a verb. Oh, I'll Venmo you the money. Have you heard this yet? You know, people just I it's, say it's, that. It's, oh, you yeah. do? Yeah, that. I do, actually. So our, our banks, have they d deployed a strategy to try to get these millennials and keep them banking the old way? Well, the smart banks are definitely trying to go after the millennial consumer because they're, it's a huge population. It's growing. They're starting to make money. They're starting to buy homes. They're starting to have families. It's very, very important. But the banks that succeed have to compete with these fintech startups, these yeah. innovative companies that are nimble. They're listening to their users. Banks are going to have to compete in the same way, drive costs down. There's a lot they're going to have to do to, if, you know, if they want to survive in the long run. Just right. one other category where millennials are changing the game. Lauren yeah. Lyons, thank Cole, rather, Lauren Lyons, Cole, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.